React or React.js is a free and open source JavaScript library for building user interfaces, especially single page applications. Now, what do we mean by single page applications? How are they different from multi page applications? And what's the role of React in it? To understand, now let's take an example of an e commerce website which is made up of different components like home page, men's clothing, women's clothing, add to cart, and payment options. Let's consider the multi page applications workflow here. So when the user first visits the website, they land on the home page and that is considered as one request to the server. The server then serves the home page as an HTML page. When the user navigates the site, let's say from home page to the men's clothing section, another request is sent to the server and in response, the server sends a new fresh HTML page. So this continues for all the navigations the user makes and which can of course result in slightly longer navigation times as well as it can limit the seamless interactivity. Now consider the same example scenario for the single page applications. In this case, when the user makes the very first request, the server loads an initial HTML page as usual. But now when there is a new navigation request from home page to men's clothing, a new Ajax request is made to the server. The server then responds with just data like HTML or JSON fragments and not the entire HTML page. The browser then takes this data and updates only the relevant parts of the initial HTML page without refreshing the entire HTML page. For each subsequent request, now there is no need to fetch a new HTML page again and again and hence this setup offers a smoother, faster and more app-like experience. Now, this understanding leads us to a very important aspect of React.js, which is its component-based architecture. When you build a user interface with React, you will first break it apart into pieces called components. Then you will describe different visual states for each of your components. And finally, you will connect your all components together so that the data can flow through them. This is how we build a user interface with React.js.